kids, for eight years now, your dad has been telling you the story of how he met me. But instead of talking about me, he's been talking about all of these other women. And I think the only thing we've all learned is, your dad was a slut. Let's start with Robin. For years, the whole Robin thing would continue to bite your dad in the ass. But we'll get to that. But in between all of the... I think I'm in love with you. What? Moments. There were random skanks. We're visiting our boyfriends. Ex-girlfriends. I found Natalie's number. <laughs> that coat check girl. Hey, maybe it'll be that cute coat check girl. It wasn't. A nerdy dermatologist. Sorry, <laughs> oh. Who was engaged, by the way? Raise your hand if earlier today you hit on an engaged woman. A stripper. And that, kids, is the true story of how I met your mother. Hilarious. That girl with the pineapple. What was her name again? Trudy. My name is Trudy. Victoria. I owe you a real breakup call. But we'll get to that. Actually, it's a pretty short story. Your dad just wanted Robin again. It was your girlfriend. A prostitute. You're a hooker. No, I'm a paralegal. And a girl he found on the internet. We found her, sir. We found your soulmate. Good start. Ted just had a huge date. How'd it go, dude? I didn't go. All leading back to... I want Robin. Oh, God. Okay, he finally won her over. What do you say? Yes. No. I don't know. Sort of. But there were some bumps in the road, like more ex-girlfriends. I'm stupid, but my rack is bigger than yours. You can't look at a pillow without seeing my ex-girlfriend. The fact that you so still eventually that ended. For a while. So of course there was another round of random skanks. Amy. Ted, I will do a lot to get laid, but I am not going to New Jersey. Wait, wasn't Stella from I'm getting ahead of myself. Trudy, now part of a perky package. Stacy, a bet, this crazy chick but nobody can remember her name. Everyone, this is Blah Blah. Kathy couldn't shut up. Stella, again, we'll get to that. And Ashley, with two E's, who was married. <laughs> Things moved pretty fast with Stella. Will you marry me? Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a good sign. But really, she said yes. And kids, Stella could have been your mom. Dodged a bullet there. Instead, your dad ended up here. And here. Ta-da! Okay. I just had decent sex with an awful human being. And here. Again. It took marching man girls. Our band's got a gig. Barney's fake wife. Oh my god! And another ex-girlfriend. Oh my god, she was such a douche. To get your dad to the low point where he felt like he had to say, Robin Scherbatsky. Will you be my backup wife? And by the time he found another girl who made him say, I think I might actually be falling for this girl. It was just Barney and Marshall. I don't think they actually did those things. They were just at the bar. Right. He came close to finding me when he accidentally started teaching my econ class. I'm sitting just, nope, just a little over, not that girl. But instead he found another girl he'd dated before, a girl who just wanted to sleep on his couch and another who, uh, didn't. Lily thought her coworker Shelly was perfect but she got distracted by Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Oops. Ow! His obsession with Maggie finally ended, so thank God we got that out of the way. There was my old roommate. She had some issues. I'm not gonna fall in love with your roommate. Oops. There was an arranged marriage near Miss, the dumb blonde he was obsessed with, and the poor girl who's obsessed with him. Yes! No! At this point in the story, I can't help but think... Of course you're still single. Take a look at yourself, you dumb slut. I mean, look at all these bitches. Hello. This is Amanda. I just thought we had something to I don't know how I'm gonna put my life back together after this. Our first Christmas together, Barney, Lily, Robin, Ted, and Isabel. Hey guys, this is Strawberry. Should be who to the half. <laughs> he almost made a move on Cindy's wife, Robin tried to set him up. Hi, she up to that super hot makeup girl, Liz. But it turned out. You said she looked like a movie star. She does. It's Robert De Niro. Zoe was a whole other bag of worms. Are you married? Yeah. But we'll get to that. Becky was a baby, Honey was a moron, and Zoe was destined to fail from the start. And kids, that's how I met your mother. Your dad really loves that joke, huh? You know, kids, people meet at a certain point in their lives for a reason. 
At this point, I don't think I would have liked the self-absorbed, insecure, you gooder than me, no make difference, awkward, and desperate man that your father was. Maya, real quick, did you think there was anything here? Oh, I have a boyfriend. Goodbye. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, you turned out to be so special. A little ways down the line, he'd have things figured out. But until then, it's more stunts. Robin. I love you, Robin. It's always darkest before the dawn. And random skanks. Because how did she put it? They're full of crap. You are always chasing the wrong women. So he tried Victoria again, the only ex-girlfriend bridge that he hadn't burned completely. But she knew what was up. You can't be friends with Robin. And so did he. You have to think about it. You have not felt it. So that didn't last long. I really hope you get her someday. And before he would finally say, I'm ready to settle down. And mean it, there was a proposal. Robin Scherbatsky, will you marry me? Yes. A child. Are you saying she's 20 and a half, <clears throat> almost? Who happened to be? That's my half sister. A lunatic. Marshall. Emsbury and I just love this area. A naive Anglophile. Ready to see what it's like to be with a woman? I suppose there's a first time for everything. <laughs> and just for good measure, a couple more random skanks. My penis. My penis. And even though this happened, and this... You're not leaving because you think the love of your life isn't in New York. You're leaving because you think she is. We both still wound up in the right place at the right time. Hi. One ticket to Farhampton, please.